For some of the biggest stories in the markets right now, we welcome in Caroline Wood, senior markets correspondent here on the network, to talk about shares of iRobot jumping. Big news here. Yeah, you talked about the major averages sort of flat around that unchanged line. Not the case for iRobot today. We're seeing surge absolutely, shares absolutely surge today, and that's because the UK approved Amazon's acquisition of iRobot. iRobot, of course, makes those Roomba vacuums, the robotic vacuums. UK's Competition and Markets Authority cleared the deal, saying it does not believe that the merger will result in a substantial lessening of competition within markets in the UK. The deal, of course, was announced last August. It's an all-cash $1.7 billion deal, including debt iRobot share is up about 20% today on this news, about 26% this week. So big winner today and this week. Amazon share is taking a look off about 7 tenths of 1%, but still up more than 2% on the week. Not sure if that's actually weighing on shares today or if it's just, just could be a little bit of a pullback because $1.7 billion, we know for Amazon, is probably just a drop in the bucket. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge, huge move for iRobot and I was just looking to see if they make anything else besides that. I see a handheld vacuum, an air pur purifier because I was thinking about Instapot and Instapot really recently filed for bankruptcy. And, you know, one of the reasons people say it's because it had one good product <laughs> and couldn't really make a foray into other products. So they do have a few other products, but as we know, Amazon doesn't sell just books. Remember when it was just a book company and then it became everything? Absolutely everything. All right, so that's a big story. And then we have the Micron story that we continue to follow. And this is uh, the expansion of China. What's going on there? Yeah, the Micron shares under pressure today, off about 1.5%, still higher on the week, still about 3.5% higher on the week. But they're showing their commitment to China with a plan to invest more than $600 million in a chip packaging plant there in order to support the local economy and create some jobs. There are es estimates right. that it would create about 500 jobs. Right. This, of course, comes yeah. after Beijing actually cracked down on Micron and told key operators that they couldn't buy chips from Micron because they posed serious net national security risks. China contributes uh, about 11 percent of Micron's global sales. And Micron had previously said the ban could hit revenue in the low to high single digits. Now, in a new filing, it says half of China headquartered customer revenue is at risk. So the new estimate is as high as low double digit percentage of Micron's worldwide revenue. So could be an even bigger hit to revenue, according to Micron. Micron added that it's working to mitigate this impact over time and it expects increased quarter to quarter revenue variability. Its long term goal, though, is to retain DRAM and NAND share. I will say Wedbush, uh, an analyst there, was out with a note today making no change to its outperform rating or $65 price target on the shares despite the fact that it will or could hit revenue that much harder. Said the investment in China might be an attempt by the company to better position itself within the Chinese government in order to return its China-related businesses to good standing. So obviously uh, trying to keep the peace with China. Did note that if Micron's mobile business is ne negatively impacted, there could be a potential negative impact for Silicon Motion, ticker symbol SIMO given its supply of, uh, of controllers to Micron. So taking a look at Silicon Motion shares under pressure today as well, off about 2%. Should also note that Bloomberg's reporting that Micron's also planning to invest at least $1 billion in a semiconductor packaging factory in India. The announcement is, is supposed to come next week when Prime Minister Modi visits the U.S. But according to a source, you know, it's at least a billion dollars could be as much as a two billion dollar investment in India. So Micron investing in both China and India. Uh, but, you know, we'll have to see how this this revenue impact in terms of the, the China crackdown really plays out, because that's tangible. You know, right. low double digit percentage yeah. hit to revenue is is. is no joke. And the story about China and the relationship between American companies and the business that goes on there. You recently had Elon Musk there. Um, Gates is going there. You have Secretary Blinken um, will be heading there for a high stakes China trip, right, as, as that as they're looking for that as well. So I think this is obviously they don't want to have a decoupling with China. And so we got to make sure we all get along and play nice in the sandbox, but it hasn't been an, an easy way of it, no no doubt. So we'll see what happens with Secretary uh, Blinken's visit, too. I'd, I'd like to hear more about that. All right. Good stories. Thank you very much. Caroline Woods.